What's up everybody? I haven't posted in a while. I had a blowout on the truck tires and they they're expensive on that, you know. So that sent me back. Besides it's been raining a little bit. I've been busy with other other stuff, so welcome back to the channel. Got a new video for you today. Side by side comparison. The Warrior 350 versus the Raptor. I don't know if it's much of a comparison, but stay tuned if you want to know more information. If you have a Warrior, you think about upgrading.
talk a little bit about side-by-side -side comparison on these two machines of course we got the Raptor 660 and the Warrior 350 here so first off don't jump on the Raptor and then jump onto the Warrior at the same time same day that's not real great of course the Raptor is a lot faster than the Warrior and this even has a lot of motor work done to it it's a lot different machine the clutch is a lot smoother on the Raptor we'll tell you that it's like so much smoother it's like a uh, butter compared to the Warrior it comes in hard this is nice and smooth so there's that it sits a lot higher I don't know if I can show you the Raptor sits a lot higher so if you're taller like I am that's how much higher the Raptor sits so if you're tall like I am there's that to consider um, some people don't like the reliability of the Raptor I guess I don't know if you take care of it and stuff it might be okay I don't know Warrior is probably still more reliable, but um, I don't know. It's hard saying on that part. I guess everyone's got their opinions. I'm trying not to be biased during this video because I'm kind of partial to the Warrior, I guess, since I've had it for so long. But it, I don't know. If I'm, being, I'm six foot tall, so the Raptor is a lot more comfortable to sit on for me. I will say that. My knees aren't near as bent as they are on the Warrior. Um, I don't hate the suspension on the Warrior anymore. See, I know, you know, you can't tell in the video, but so I don't, I don't hate the suspension on the Warrior as much anymore because uh, the Raptor isn't that much better off on the trails where it's bumpy. And I was kind of surprised by that. You th I would think that would have a lot better suspension and travel and everything. So, there's that. Uh, I know you can upgrade suspension and shocks and stuff and everything on either of them. So, I'm going to give that one a, a toss up. They're both, I mean the Raptor is just a little bit better, but you can upgrade, like I said, you, can, you can upgrade either of them. And uh, you can get longer travel control arms for the front of the Warrior and better shocks and stuff that way. But uh, what else we got? It, of course, the Raptor is a lot faster. It's only five speed compared to the six speed on the Warrior. So if you're trying to scoot along on the Warrior, you're shifting a little, a little bit more compared to the Raptor. As I said the other day, first was a little bit short. I didn't take it onto the trail today, but first was a little bit short on the bumpy trail. Uh, I don't know if I cared for that as much. And, and the Warrior, at least you can put it in second. Second's not too fast if you want to move slow. But first is also decent on it too, on the bumpy trails and stuff like that. So. You want to consider that uh, I'm not sure what the fuel tank capacity is on it I drove I scooted around a few miles let's see what we got I took the same route this was completely full the same route on both of these just now I think they use about the same amount of fuel so also I bet the Raptor would be pretty fun with a nicer exhaust on it be a little bit quicker a little more torque and uh, I would I would definitely go up a couple sizes on the front sprocket it's got plenty of torque you nearly willy you can probably willy in every gear I'm not good at wheelies so I'll just leave it at that but yeah, I would definitely go up on the front sprocket 
and uh, and maybe a little bit more enjoyable that way. Uh, and also, one big thing on the comparison, working on this is a lot more tricky than the Warrior. That is just a single carb versus a dual carb, of course. So tuning is tricky on the Raptor compared to the Warrior. The Warrior is pretty easy to tune uh, since it's a single carb. Uh, I, don't know if you, I don't know if you have experience on them, working on stuff, the Raptor might be okay, but. Let's see what else we got. We've got an oil cooler on the Warrior, so that helps with cooling it down. And, uh, they're making a bunch of new parts for the Warrior that is supposed to help it, but... Of course, you can probably get even more torque and everything out of the Warrior than what I have in it, even. So, people build some crazy motors, motors out of them. I'm sure you can put a bunch of work into the Raptor too and make them even more fast but I don't know why you'd want to I mean they're pretty quick 75 on the dirt road is kind of sketchy anyway so I don't know I think you need to do anything with it leave it fairly stock maybe the air filter and exhaust and leave it at that you know I don't see much uh, need for making that any faster than the way it is so there's that uh if you have any comments feel free to leave them down below leave a comment down below if you want if you want to ask a question about either room how i like to this and that or whatever go ahead and leave a comment maybe leave a comment and uh if you've had either of these and which one you like better thanks for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it. Stay safe.